Well, Fluke Johnson, uh, a flawless eight under par round over on the Creek course today. Talk us through your start at the 2019 ISPS Honda Vic Open. Um, I mean, it was pretty, uh, any time you shoot eight under, it's pretty good. Uh, to do it bogey freeze, a bonus. It, I'm going to sound a bit cocky here, but it was really easy. Um, I hit 17 greens uh, in regulation, reached three of the par five, so there's kind of a couple of almost gimme birdies. Um, and for me, if I roll the ball in the greens well, I'll shoot a good score, and that's what I did today. If it wasn't for the delay in play, you'd have had the broadcast following you for the last kind of uh, few holes of your round. Did you, were you looking around to, to see if anyone was following you out there? Yeah, I mean, I thought the producer might have sent somebody out there, but um, clearly eight under wasn't enough to, uh, to get something. But uh, no, as long as I could keep the media, media team here late, um, that was what kept me going, really. Uh, and how do you cope with holding the lead? How, how do you feel going to bed with a two-shot lead over the field? Suo's uh, next best in line, who's obviously a local around here. Um, what do you do tonight to prepare for tomorrow's morning field? Um, yeah, I mean, it's the first day, so there's a long way to go still. Um, but I mean, if I can play anywhere near as solid as that the next three days, um, hopefully I'll be in contention come Sunday. It's always pretty hard to back up uh, eight under with another strong one. So look, it's going to sound really cliche, but one shot at a time and um, see what it adds up, with, adds up to at the end of 18 holes tomorrow. Do you prefer the Creek course here? Um, to be honest, I've played pretty rubbish on both of them in the previously, so um, <laughs> it's a bit shot to shoot eight under. Um, but no, uh, yeah, the Creek, it was playing pretty, uh, pretty scorable today. Obviously the wind's... Um, didn't really pick up after a bit of rain overnight. It was uh, the greens were holding, they were running pretty good, and uh, yeah, I just look. I found it pretty simple out there today. So hopefully the, the beach will treat me kindly tomorrow. It's becoming a bit of an English stronghold here. Flick, Noel Reid, and Georgia have been the last few years. Can you put a finger on why that might be. Yeah, I mean, I mean Australia is like like England, but with sunshine. So we also feel pretty <laughs> at home here. Um, yeah, I mean they, it, we do have play a lot of these courses at home, kind of link style and. Um, bit of wind, we kind of grew up playing that, so yeah, it's, it feels familiar almost. Uh, you, there aren't many women in this field, or men for that matter, if we had too many victories in Victoria, but you're not off that ilk, are you? I mean, it's been a good couple of weeks for me. I, um, I won the Warrigal Pro-Am and then uh, again at Terralgan with on the PGA, um, on the, the women's PGA side of it, so it's been a fun lead-up, seen a bit of country Victoria and uh, seen some new places.